Hello. Adjusting mic. Daily challenge start. That's how Wednesdays usually go. I got my coffee, got my mouse, have my eyes, and hopefully my brain. To see if we can do this. Hello, Canada and the province that I think we are either Newfoundland and Labrador, or it's one of these. I can't remember. But it's this part of the <clears throat> country. Excuse me. Clearing my throat here. How we doing? Middle of the week already. Um, so much has happened. What do we got? Route 380. Uh, let's take a look for Route 380. Are you a Route 380? Or 360? I think we're over here. <clears throat> going to try to clear my throat, but when I do it, it will be hopefully not as noticeable. Actually, I'm going to pause, mute, and do it. Excuse me. I'm pretty sure we're over here. The only problem is I'm not seeing the actual number, and that's annoying me. Uh, if you're playing bingo, you can check that off. There's 480. Are you Pilly's Island? Your Great Island. I'm, I'm guessing Northwest Island. Your Bear Island. Old Harbor. Uh, let me take a sip. Pilly's Island Heritage Center. This is 480. This is not 380. Uh, I've got a minute left. Really hoping I see that number, but I'm not. <clears throat> and that's unfortunate. Found dildo. I think I've done that before. Where the fuck is 380? Oh my god. 382? There's 380. All right. Pilly's Island. Highway 380. Pilly's Island. Here we go. I think we're here. That flag is Flat Rock Tickle. I want to know what a flat rock that tickles actually looks like. But first, let's see this. It's just saying buckle up stuff. I'm going to hit home, and we're going to head the other way, see if I can't find a ticklish rock. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, Robert's arm and Triton. There's Robert's arm. I think we might be like there, actually. Let me, uh, we're a kilometer out, so maybe it's like here. Um, is this another buckle up sign? Oh, geez, we're very far away. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me take a sip. Uh, yeah, so much has happened. I've, as I mentioned, I'm pretty sure I did last week. The, oh, I need to remember to talk about that too. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, my age demographic in my state had its, vaccination sign up yesterday morning um the previous age demographic which was the year the year the week before um they opened up registration super early like they it, it was supposed to be at um 8 a.m and they did it at like midnight so i was thinking you know it worked for them maybe it'll work for me so i stayed up super late in the hopes of actually being fortunate enough to sign up super early so I can just get it done and over with. No, that was not the case. <clears throat> it, in fact, opened seven minutes early. My email notification told me so. So I didn't need to stay up. I think we're in Belgium. That's a BE. Didn't need to stay up like I did, but I tried. Either way, I was able to sign up. Um... I was actually able to choose the one I wanted. I'm, I wanted to go with the one that was just the one shot because get it one and done. Don't have to worry <clears throat> about a follow-up and 
I've heard a lot of headaches with trying to schedule that stuff, at least within our state. This, I've seen this font being used for the actual band itself. Uh, Primus Hocked. I don't know what Hocked is. I'm going to assume it's a restaurant of sorts. And if it's not a restaurant, it's some sort of hip tech startup that figured that downtown, right above, a bunch of restaurants was a smart place to put your business. I gotta cough again. Excuse me. Anyway, signed up for it. Um, it's two, next Tuesday, actually. I, it's a week from the day I'm recording this. Um, I actually have to drive almost two hours, which, for as small as my state is, I'm still blown away that, <clears throat> man, my throat. Oh, man, I got to do it again. Sorry. There's just no way around this. There's, it's, it's a surprise very much a surprise to me that there are places two hours in any direction from where I live and still being within the state. It's a very tiny state, comparatively speaking. Sorry, I just needed a drink. Um, yeah, so that's happening. Uh, hopefully, everyone I know, except for one person, has had extremely mild side effects to, actually, yeah, extremely mild side effects to this specific shot. Uh, there is a woman that I work with who got hers done uh, I think it was Friday and it's been kicking her ass ever since and but everyone else I've talked about it's like oh it's just been a bad allergy day is the best way that they could describe <clears throat> how much of a reaction they had so I'm hoping that it's going to be little mild for me but I wouldn't be I would be lying if I didn't if I didn't say I've been extremely curious if I'll have like a really bad reaction to it or not S P S P A S S K O E spat spasque I don't know where spasque is uh, these are very fancy bus terminals for the usual Russian locations that I associate with bus stops on generally unused roads, but this one's very much used. <clears throat> um, oh yeah, another thing, going back to that Napoleon I saw on the sign there. Um, my friend did a very mean thing to me and sent me this podcast to listen to. This is probably about a month ago at this point. Um, it's called Revolutions, and it's all about revolutions. Uh, I have a thing with podcasts where I basically have to listen from the start all the way through, regardless of how much I care what the topic is. And <clears throat> as I stated, is this... Hmm. See, this type of like um, decoration, I don't know exactly what it is. But that's more of a central Russia, maybe? And I don't know. I'm a bit thrown by that. What have we got here? Odinchtovo. O-D-I-N-C-H-O-V-O. Odinchtovo. Odinchtvo. Odinchtvo. I think. God, my <clears throat> Russian is very rusty. Um, I'm just going to put us around Vorosna just to have it somewhere here. Anyway, it's a podcast all about revolutions, and it starts off with, this thing goes all the way back to, uh, I think it was 2013 or 2014, and it starts with the British Revolution, and that's something I've never learned really in school that I can remember. And then after that, I went to the American Revolution. Man, I got a cough again. Sorry. Seems to be really weird about what it picks up and what it doesn't as far as muting. 
I'm pretty sure recorded a lot of that. I'll find out when I go back to edit it, but <clears throat> as it stands, it's just gonna be in it's just gonna be in the uh recording. Oh, I hate when this happens. Hopefully it wasn't that long of a one. I mean if it was you're obviously going to know. I'm going to know when I go back to look at this and I see the audio levels and how much of a gap there is. That is an interesting flag. Anyway. Uh, now I'm worried about how far back I should list what I was talking about. Hmm. Anyway, the podcast I'm listening to, Revolutions. I don't know what flag this is. It is not one I've seen before. It's a weird take on the Union Jack, and that's the closest correlation I have to it. This is a pizza? Busia? Why does this look like this is a dump truck on a rotating platform? Interesting roundabout that doesn't really have a roundabout right here. Where the fuck is it? We're on the... We're in this this area, I'm going to say, <clears throat> but podcast is interesting, um, going through the, in chronological order, that's the Nixtoba, this is a weird place, what do we got, we've got Spanish, French, English, I don't know, that seems to be a cultural region, if not province, associated flag with the language for this area that I've never seen before. But they seem to either get enough tourists, or it's been culturally, I guess, dominated. It's, it's, it's just Spanish people lived here, French have lived here, French have, English have been here. These are probably the people that have either native or been here the longest. Uh, what what island? Could it be like this one? I'm just gonna put it there. This very much feels like a Monaco type thing. But I don't think it is. A lot of Z's. Makes me think this is more over here. Like maybe up here? I think I'm going to do that. The way the map has it, it always associates it, you know, northeast, southwest. So I'm thinking that it's got to be. Would it be over here? No, there's. I think this is closer at least to where it is than where I had it before. No, I'm wrong. Yeah, holy shit, am I wrong? I had, this was nowhere near in my mind where this was going to be. Is that cat, I don't know if that's, no, I don't think that's Catalan. I don't think that's spoke there. I thought that's over here, Castilian. I think that's more over here, isn't it? Anyway, taking a step. Sidetracked as it is. Anyway, podcast is great. I just finished the French Revolution. The whole reason I was interested in uh, listening to this podcast was because they were going to get to the Haitian Revolution, which is something I'd never learned about but always wanted to, and this is the most convenient way of listening to it. All the episodes are about a half hour long, and, I mean, it's good enough. I mean, that's probably too like mean a way of putting it. It's it's interesting. It's it's kept my this is beautiful by the way. Kept my attention. He doesn't like go too long into things. I can't really I'd commune. Like sometimes what you can do with a lot of people who are doing podcasts is you can usually tell what they're mostly like into. An example is okay, someone is very much into, say, history, but they're really into cultural history of a certain area, or culture is the one thing they care about the most when it comes to anything about history, and if they talk about 
military or combat or anything like that. They just might glance over it. But when it comes to culture, it'll take like an extra 15 to 20 minutes to talk about anything. This doesn't really seem to be that. I'm trying to match this with this, but I think that might be pointless. I mean, this kind of looks like here, but this would be far more developed. This is beautiful. I'm thinking this is Alps, maybe in Austria. I don't think this is Italy. Let's try to find a bit more information, shall we? Uh, the only complaint I would probably have about the podcast is the first, the British one was probably around like 17, 18 episodes. Oh, I'm very much off. The US one was probably about like 17 or 18. The French Revolution was 55 episodes, which was probably a bit too much. But there's a lot to cover with the French Revolution. I don't think I'm going to get this like super nailed. But this is a beautiful area, and I'm spending way too much time looking at this, and I really should just be taking in the scenery here. Because Jesus Christ, this is. You've heard me prattle on about fjords and what I think about driving through mountains. This has, this has it all. I mean, oh, Jesus. I wasn't that far off. Okay, yeah, we were next to Michael Bust. Wow, even with that complete botch up on four, it didn't do that bad. But 10 second challenge is coming up. I did it out of order today, I just realized that, but whatever. We'll see you in a sec with more. Uh, all right, you see it, I feel it. That's how I'm going to go into this. Uh, this empty brain. Um, I'm going to say Kenya. Nairobi. We were pretty close. In Maru. Or Meru, whatever. I spent more time looking at the place than... Um, spent more time looking at the place where it was than I did actually on the map itself. That's what I meant to say, but my brain wasn't working because this is a 10 second challenge. I don't have time to think. Uh, Tremont. Shit. Uh, Tremont. Yeah, brain was not letting me figure that one out. Okay. It's just having enough time. Oh, we're in Taiwan. I wanted to click Taiwan. Uh, this, I'm going to say, is Canada, but I wouldn't be surprised this is Iceland. Well, there we go. Cool. Pretty good. I mean, I would have gotten way more on that one if I moved it fast enough. But I didn't. Here we go again. Ten seconds. No time to think. Just do. This is, I'm going to say, Illinois. Could be, yeah, anywhere in this area. Ah, taking a sip of coffee. This is anywhere. It could be here, could be there, could be there. I'm not going to get this one. Yeah, there's, there's, wasn't anywhere near enough information for that. This is Quebec. I'm going to say maybe around Quebec City. Hmm. I'll take it. This, I'm going to say, is South America. And if it's not South America, it's Alaska. Or either. Fuck me. Gee, oh, I just nailed the mic. Nailed the mic with my fist. No, that's actually correct English. I thought I was saying it backwards. Um, Central Spain. That feels like. If not that, it's... I was going to say more to the east. But I didn't need to. Look at that. 90 degree 
angle we did here on that awful guess. Still under 50%. Here we go. The final. Final. Um, I'm going to say Arizona. The hello, Mexico. Argentina, whatever. Um, I'm going to Ecuador. I see Ecuador. We're in Quito. If not, we're in Guayaquil. We were in Guayaquil, or at least closer to it than what I picked. Curve UHD. We are Central A Russia. Maybe around Omsk. I'm just picking it. We're in Mongolia. Maybe if I spent more time looking. Don't have time to spend time looking. This is Philippines. Was I clever? I was not clever. Jesus Christ, I was not clever. Peacock painter. Um, I'm going to say we're in Botswana around Gaborone. We were in Kampala. Well, I got slapped down hard on this last one. That's going to do it for your Wednesday edition of Geoguessing and its variety content there within. I'm about to go and look to see how much was un was muted. Uh, I will cut out what was uh, muted. Hopefully it wasn't that much, but now you know why. Oh, I hate when that happens. Sorry. Anyway, go check out the other stuff on the channel. If you could, please like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Tell me your thoughts, comments, questions, concerns, anything you would like. I will read them and get back to you. Uh, just relaxing. Hope you do too. See you later. Bye.